welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'm up on the west side of the moat and uh, I was just running through here. I was actually going over to the Klongs on the other side. I'm gonna walk the Klongs today and when I got over on this side, they seem to be working on the moat and I'm gonna try to get around to see what the, what the story is, what they're getting ready for. They're putting a big sign up and then uh, there's a guy uh, over to the right. He's in the middle of the middle of the moat uh, fishing something out. But anyway, we'll take if we can get across the street. We'll walk across the street and uh, see what's going on. I'm in the crosswalk. Maybe they'll stop, but I doubt it. But uh, yeah, something. They're getting ready for something. I don't know what. They've got all the gardeners out. And try to get on the other side of this sign and see what it is. You see that guy's out in the middle of the middle of the moat there. Looks like he's fishing something out. And we'll walk down and get a little bit closer. And make sure I took the keys out of my motorcycle. Yeah, they're they're heavy at it. This traffic's pretty backed up too. We'll get in front of this sign here and see what it says. Well, that doesn't, oh, yeah, that's from Queen's, I think that's the Queen's birthday. So this may have been up here for a while. But uh, I'm gonna walk down here and see what this guy's doing. What do you Man, they couldn't pay me enough money to get in that water. No freaking way. Man. Oh, looks like they're gonna pull him out. Oh, he's replacing some kind of pipe or something. Oh, okay, he's fixing the sprinklers, the water fountain. <laughs> Hello! Well, let's walk back to the bike and we'll go back to plan B, which is walking the, uh, actually plan A, which is walking a section of the Klong that I saw that they cleaned out real well. And uh, and I got to run by Gecko and get some cheese so I got something to eat. And head back to Hang Dong and The two days up on the mountain was really nice. Uh, second day I didn't get to, didn't do too much video because it was raining real hard. But the first night was, was really nice. The food was good and uh, bed was comfortable. And you know, I think I got some fairly decent drone shots. Would have been nice if the uh, if the clouds had rolled all the way up to the room, but it's not that time of year. We weren't really expecting that either. Actually, we were expecting on expecting rain the whole time. Go to tourist police? No, that's highway police or something. A lot of traffic. This road is really cool. There's a lot of food on that road. Hawkeley Road or yeah, I believe that there's maybe, maybe Sutep Road, I'm sorry. And uh, there's a lot of food stalls on there. I'll walk that one day when things get a little bit, a little bit brighter around here. 
Yeah, Suen Dock Gate, that's where we're at. It looks like we got some gray skies up there too. Oh well, if I get wet, that's life. But anyway, I'm gonna shut this off for now and uh, move to the other side and uh, we'll see how walking that clong looks. Well, we made it back over here and uh, didn't rain. We're right at uh, Kampang Din Road and the road that runs in front of uh, Pantip and Gecko's right across the street. But anyway, we're going to head over to the uh, to the bridge here and try to walk along the Fong and see how see how far we can get. Uh, you can actually walk on two sides of it, so we may walk down a ways and have to get stuck and then have to turn around and come back and then walk the other end. And I'm going to try to get across this road without getting hit. And uh, you can see Gecko's right there and Klong is right there, Kampang Din Road. They don't have a cross sign. I don't know what the name of this road is. Somebody else probably does. Like I said, I don't, I don't keep up on the names. Uh, I know where I'm at and how to get from point A to point B, but as far as the names of the roads, I, I don't know them. And uh, really have, have no reason to really learn what they're called. But uh, Looks like we can walk down that way a little ways. We'll head down there. I've never noticed that before. I'll see where it comes out, see how far we can go. This place here, Taco Lovers, has real good tacos. Uh, and they're not that expensive either. But yeah, boy, it'd be, it would be really nice if they did this along the entire clong down here. So you could walk maybe, you know, two or three or four kilometers. But uh, you see the water's real crappy, but that's, that's pretty much normal. You get the hotel there, the Imperial Mayping there. They're doing a big renovation to that place. And also, uh, uh, Porn Peng uh, Towers, they're doing a reconstruction there as well. I stayed at Porn Peng back, oh, would have been May of 2017, March, or March April or May. And uh, I came up from uh, Spotty Cop. Came up from Haw Hen because I see a friend and I stayed there. And it wasn't bad, it was just really outdated. And there's some nice places back here from the backside. Yeah, I didn't realize this little. Lane was here. Just interested to see how far it actually goes. Yeah, there's some nice places back there. That looks like a restaurant. We'll walk it as far as we can. I'm in no big hurry and it's it's kind of a nice day today. It's pretty cloudy and it's not real hot. So I don't mind walking a ways. Uh, it looks like it's getting a little bit uncared for here, but that's no big deal. Okay, we're right at the back of the hotel. I'm not sure which one it is. But we're going to keep walking as long as you don't see any snakes or alligators or monitor lizards. I'm fine. More water out there. The uh, the sign for the Queen's birthday. Um, that's that's already passed. They just haven't taken the sign down. That's what that was. I'm curious to see how far I can walk. Oh. 
Okay, so on the other side of me, on the other side of this big building here, would be the road that runs behind Pantit. Interesting. We may have to walk back down Massage Alley, which I will try to avoid. Or maybe I can come back and come down the road behind uh, Pantip so I can avoid that road and just circle around. This is a nice little walk. Be nice if it was paved, but can't ask for everything. Yeah, this should take us right out on LaCroix. See, this water here flows right down into the Ping River. Let's see how far we can walk it. This may be the end right here. We'll go check it out. There's a way to go, I'll go. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, let's head down here. Ooh. Be careful walking over these grates. Buddy cop. Yeah, it looks like it goes for quite a ways. So back to all the buildings. Huh. Interesting. Looks like we may be able to walk a good distance here. Like it might be getting jungly now. See, that's what you got to watch out for. <coughs> End up in one of those things, they'll never find you. I'll slip around the right side. This tree, I'll go as far as I can go. Without having to do any brush cutting. Yeah, I gotta watch that. Let's see what the other side looks like. Yeah, it's pretty much all grown up over there. I'm not gonna be able to get through there. 
Might be able to get through from the other end. But it doesn't look like I'll make it through here. I don't like walking where I can't see where I'm putting my feet. Let's see what we got out here. I'll hold you up real high so you can see. Boy, there's a dilapidated place right there. Interesting. Well, I'm going to head out of here and uh, make my way back to Gecko. And there's a section behind Gecko that is that they're clearing. Matter of fact, they were working on it when I came through, so we'll walk that and uh, go from there. But I, I'm going to turn the camera off because you all you all have already seen all this. And uh, if I get on a road you haven't, I'll turn it back on. We'll see you in a little bit. We are back out. I think we'll go this way. Walk down that alley there because I've not been down there. I know I've not walked that area. Empty. Empty, empty, empty. Money exchange places are empty. Okay. Looks like this place has been able to stay partially open. We'll walk down this alley here. See what's down here. Tulip massage, salon, and barber. Man, wow, that thing is really up there. Whew, get a nosebleed looking. Three girls on a motorbike. <laughs> Car park. Well, I'm starting to sweat a little bit now, which is good. But it's still, it's not that hot out. It's, uh, it's nice and cool. Got a cool breeze coming up this alley. Here's the Star Hotel. And then we got Pantip Plaza down there on the left. Beautiful, beautiful sky today. What this is here. Almost looks empty. Down to the 
We must have walked right by that and didn't see it. But we were on the other other side of it. It used to be, this place would be lined up with food carts, people selling food, just about all day long and all night. It's pretty sad. Got a little restaurant set up right there. Now this would be a cool little place to live. Let's see what it says. It's like the doctor's office. Yep. That's exactly what it is. Huh. Body cop. <laughs> and we're back out on the main road again. Not much traffic on this side. On the other side, it was really busy. We'll, uh, we'll cross the street here and get on the other side and walk down this side a little ways. And you got a gecko right there. Well, this is really nice. They fixed this up nice. A little bicycle, you pedal it and uh, Water the plants. See if any of the girls are out, I'll wave at them. This is really nice. Just wonder how far it goes. Yeah, see, they're using those boats to clean the canal out. It says, Chiang Mai had gradually been be developed as a center for administration, economy, religion, and culture, especially during the reign of Pra Chow Kilo Karada, hell I can't pronounce that, a golden age of the Lana Kingdom. Originally from headwaters on Soitet Mountain, the river flowed into the pond of several clumps of lotuses, run to the Meiping River at the city of Wang Kung Kam. The river was important for Chiang Mai because of the following reason that it served as a city moat circling the exterior that was important for military strategy and security and helped drain the waters from the flooding city during the rainy season. Seemingly used to be a trail traveled by King Mang Grai from Wai Kum Kam until he discovered the conspicuous site which he finally became Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai's citizens had been relying on waters of the 
Maycar River for the next daily use in tune. Huh. Boy, I wish they had a use spell check on that. But it's interesting. Now, could this at one time been the moat surrounding the city? I really don't know. I, from the pictures I'd, I've seen, I'd have to say no. But uh, obviously it was a canal that they used. And, uh, you know, back in the old days, you have to remember, that's how they got around. They, uh, they didn't have cars, you know, they had some oxes or some water buffaloes and, you know, some carts and stuff, but that was about it. And uh, you know, I may have told this story before, but where my wife lived in Patuktani, that's all they had was a canal. When uh, she was born, her mother went to the hospital in a, in a boat. And uh, she was the only one of two kids that were born, born at the hospital. The other two were born at home. This looks really pretty. We'll see how far it goes. So, you know, water, not only in, in Bangkok, it's more prevalent than it is here. Um, but, you know, water was a means of transportation for them. And probably the only means. Now, this is really nice. I don't know what this is. I'm trying to get my bearings on where I'm at determine what this is. I don't know. And I'm not tall enough to see over that fence. Maybe when I see the video, I'll know. Yeah, this goes down quite a ways. Now, what I want to find out is where it starts on the other end. And then, uh, come back up and walk. I want to see what's in there. I'm curious. Oh, graveyard. Okay. I know what this is now. Yeah, we're going to do a walk through here later on. Yeah, this is a graveyard. I'll be darned. It may i trying to think if it's the graveyard. Yeah, it'd be the graveyard that I saw on the map the day that I walked, uh, walked down in here. Because remember, we went to the crematory, which is right there. You can see the stack. And then I said on the map, there's a, there's a cemetery not far from here. And that's it right there. So had I walked a little bit further north from the crematory, we would have run into the cemetery. Interesting. Uh, we'll leave that for another day, because that might be real interesting. We'll walk down here a little ways. Looks like there's a bunch of people down here. Now, when I looked around down there, I didn't see a way to get out along the clong when I did the video down around the uh, school. Yeah, we'll just keep walking. I, I can use the exercise. I've had to put a compressed pad on my knee. Um, my knee blew out, oh gosh, probably about two, two or three months ago. And uh, I thought we were getting ready to go to Bangkok and my leg swelled up a little bit and it was hurting. And I thought maybe I had a blood clot, and because uh, I'm prone to get those things if I don't take my medicine. But I had been taking, I, I take my medicine religiously, and I'm, I'm pretty careful. So, but anyway, I went to the doctor, and she sent me to the hospital. They did a ultrasound on my leg, and uh, spotty cop, and uh, no blood clot. But uh, I wish they had done an MRI on my knee because apparently the problem was in my knee and not my, not my calf. It was just causing the bottom to my legs to swell. And when I came back, I went to the uh, orthopedic doctor. And they x-rayed my knee and he says, well, you've got plenty of cartilage, so you don't need a knee, tra knee uh, replacement. And he put me on some uh, anti-inflammatory pills which did fairly well I'll have to say they you know they straightened it out but then it started coming back so I went yesterday and uh, bought some ibuprofen and uh, do that and I'll put this compress on it 
see how it works out. I don't know what in the world we're coming into now, but we'll find out. Funny cop. Looks like we're coming into a little village. Huh. I'm gonna keep walking. I don't know where I'm going. Got some birds up here. Ooh. Oh man. Swatty cop. cop. Can you get up the bridge? Okay. My lord. We're up the road. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mock Swai. Wow. Got a lot of birds. Man. Now figure out how to get up there. Interesting. Guess I'll just keep walking this way. Oh man, look at these. Hello. You got a cockatoo over here. Spotty cop. Wow. Birds everywhere. Huh. Hello. I used to have one of those. There's another one over here. He's a little feathered up. Hello. The one I had talked. I got all kinds of birds. Huh. Guess I can go out this way. Huh. I have no idea where I'm at. But we're going to walk out this way. That's beautiful. Apartments. Okay. Now we'll go down this way. And that'll take us out of here, I think. Man, this is getting interesting. <laughs> Looks like this guy's got a paint body shop here. Now this may be a hard one to map on the map for you all. I'll do the best I can. I should have turned my phone on, but I didn't do it. Wow, this is really nice back here. I think this will take us out. Hell, I don't know. <laughs> we'll come out somewhere, that's for sure. Whether we'll come out where I think we will. Oh, that's a burned down house. We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, see, these are all little apartments. I saw the bridge back there, but I didn't see any way to get to it. So we're going to go here, come out on this road. Yeah, we just go straight here. I can see the road now. That's really cool. Nice restaurant. Welcome to BMP House.
Yeah, see, we, this is, starts the walk. We'll intersect with the walk we did the other day. And we walk right by this road. Well, listen, I'm going to shut this thing off for now. And uh, let me get over here in the shade for a minute. And uh, I'm going to go have something to eat and relax, cold drink, and uh, then head back to Hangdong. Hey, I appreciate it if you all made it this far. Uh, I enjoy making these videos, and I enjoy showing you all around Chiang Mai. I try to get in places where, you, you know, you're not normally going to go if you come here. Sometimes I do okay, sometimes I don't, but, you know, hell, I'm getting exercise, and you're getting to watch the videos. And that's what counts. But anyway, we'll... Uh, See you on the next one. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure and subscribe, click like, leave me some comments. I'd love to hear from y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.